Yo guys, what's up? This is Alias and in this video I will show you how to create a really cool looking particle explosion effect in After Effects. And guess what? We don't need any plugins, it's all integrated After Effects effects and we will take less than 5 minutes. So I'll say keep watching. Let's go. Okay, so now before I show you how to do this effect, I'll just show you how it looks. So it will look like this. So as you can see, we got like these crosses, which just explode in all directions and get smaller with the time. And yeah, as I said, this effect is really simple and I'll show you how to do it now. So create a new composition. I'll just make it like 10 seconds. Then first of all, of course, as always, we need a background. So just make a new solid, I'll make a black one so we can see the particles better and yeah. Now duplicate the solid and on the upper layer search in for the effect CC Particle World which is already included in After Effects and just apply it on the upper layer. And now we can see it will look like this and this looks really bad so we have to customize this effect a lot in order to look good. But it's not hard, so let's go. So first of all, create a keyframe at the um, first frame in the birth rate setting. So just make a keyframe at 2 and then go a little bit forward and make it 0. And yeah, so what this does is, as you can see, um, there will be like um, particles um, made like only for few seconds or a few milliseconds then the rate will be zero so they won't come anymore and yeah this is really important and also change the the length of the existence of these particles to like three seconds so they won't go away that fast okay but of course we don't want the particles to go down and have this weird shape so first of all we're going to create um, a shape so I'll use the cross as, is, as in my example so go to new and add a shape layer, um, add a rectangle, open up the rectangle setting, uncheck this um, this proportion thing so we can scale them separately, so the width and the length, and just make one of these bigger, so like this, and also add a fill, like this. Okay, now um, duplicate this shape layer with Ctrl D, Press R to rotate it and just rotate one of these by 90 degrees so we have like this cross. Okay, so now select both of these shape layers and create a pre-composition just like this and hide this pre-composition. So now we've created like a really cool shape which we can use in our particle settings. So go to the particle setting in the particle world effect and change uh, the particle type from line to, to texture disk. Open up the texture tab and just put in our pre-composition. So now it will look like this. And as we can see, these are really small. So let's first of all bring up the size. So put, so scale up the birth size to like one. So it will look like this. And the depth size to zero. So it will get um, smaller by the time. Okay, so now as I said, we don't want them to go down, so we have to change the physics and just turn down the gravity to zero, so it will go to all directions, but really, really fast, so I'd also turn down the velocity to like 0 0.02 maybe, or 0.2. Okay, so this will look like this, and this is like exactly what we want. So of course, we can also add like a fill effect to give it a color whatever you like so I'll just make it blue and it will look like exactly like our example basically so yeah that's it really simple stop it get some help 